There are two types of trees in Costa Rica I always find myself taking notice of, the sabas and the strangler figs. The Spanish word for strangler fig is matapalo, and its name couldn't be more fitting. Strangler figs begin life as an epiphyte in the crook of a tree or on a branch. If the nutrients are sufficient, the seed will germinate. Initially, it sends a root down to the ground to begin building the support network and gathering nutrients, while the shoot up to the top begins sending off shoots of its own and growing leaves that will eventually rob the host tree of its sunlight. Once it has established its own support and becomes a tree in its own right, it then strangles and kills its original support tree. Eventually, the roots will coalesce and merge with one another, forming huge cathedral-like structures. Although this may seem a little unfair in that one tree succumbs to an invasion by another, strangler figs are a keystone species of the forest. The reason being is that they fruit multiple times throughout the year, providing food to a host of birds, primates, and other forest dwellers. They're amazing trees and definitely worth a little exploring if you find yourself near one. The other tree is the capoc or saba. It was believed by the Maya of Central America that a great saba stood at the center of the earth and acted as a catalyst between the physical and spiritual worlds. The long vine served as the conduit to the heavens for the souls that ascended them. Sabas tend to be the tallest trees in the neighborhood and can grow to over 60 meters. They are classified as emergent trees because their mushroom-shaped canopies don't develop until the trunk has reached the light of the upper canopy. They provide habitat to a host of birds and monkeys, as well as insects and frogs that find prosperous habitats in the many bromeliads that grow on their branches. I guess you could say sabas are kind of like the camels of the rainforest, as they're able to store water in the cortical cells of their trunk. Commercially, the saba has a long history. Saba is an old word for canoe from the Caribbean region of Costa Rica. The indigenous used the saba for canoes. These would take months to build and require the work of many men. The indigenous believed that a spirit is living in the tree, and thus they did not cut it except in the months of January and February, as they believed that in those months the spirit left the tree. Up until the mid-20th century, the fluff around the seeds was used in life preservers, seat cushions, mattresses, and saddles. The wood of the saba is soft and light, and thus not that useful in construction. This fact is probably the saving grace of the tree, and one of the reasons you can still see them standing as a majestic representative of what these lowlands must have looked like before the arrival of the chainsaw. There are hundreds of different tree species in Costa Rica. As you are traveling through the country, take time to learn about a few of them. They really are amazing and harbor so much life.